Hi, I'm Ray and I'm in the garden today and we're in November and gosh it's been really warm hasn't been cold the whole time we're on the south coast here and we haven't had any frost right up until November but sowing some seeds in November is going to give us a head start and I've just been going through some of my seeds and let me tell you what we can sow in November. Well, have you I've just got a new allotment or a new vegetable garden? You can do your onion sets, and I posted a video of doing my onion sets, and I've done those in the trays, and they're currently in the greenhouse. And also garlic, you can do garlic, get a clove, put it into a soil, nice, lightly, nice, 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 neat line. There you go. They can be done up for October. Just while the soil is a bit warmer, if it's been a cold October, then it should be okay. November is also a great time for doing broad beans. You can use a cell tray for doing broad beans or direct sow in a polytunnel in the greenhouse or directly in the ground. And if you do them in November, then you'll be eating broad beans by Easter. I normally do that. I've been looking all through my seeds for my broad beans and I haven't got any today, so I can't do them, which is really annoying. I wanted to get some in the ground today, but I do it in the next few days. So, so we can also do some herbs. And herbs can be done all year round on the windowsill. And we've got parsley. And this is plain leaved. This is one of the most popular herbs for culinary use as a garnish. And these can be done on the windowsill. And we can also do some salad leaves. And we've got various salad leaves. We've got Mizuma. This is a dark pepper flavour. We've got mixed spicy leaves. This is a special blend of varieties adding a hint of peppery spice. We've also got mesclun mixed. This is a new combination for your salads. 40 days during summer months. It's ideal for containers or patios. And we've also got corn salad. This can be sown August, September, October, November. And this is a very rigorous variety, ideal for winter and autumn salads. We can also do some meteor peas and this is a bumper crop of tasty peas ideal autumn sown for overwintering and can be spring sown I've got a tray of multi-purpose compost and they're quite deep cells and this is our meteor peas I'm just going to add two peas for each cell And these can be growing in the greenhouse over winter, giving us a good crop. Our peas last year didn't do very good because the weather was so hot. Yeah, exactly. And then I'm going to cover them over with the compost. And they're going to sit into the greenhouse. So that's our peas all planted. We can also do some spinach and this is Amazon F1. This can be sown March, April, May and also July, August, September, October and just on the borders of November. And this is smooth oval shaped dark leaves and it's great for salads. So there's a few vegetables we can sow and if you haven't done any sweet peas you can do some flowers and we can do our sweet peas I posted a video of me doing my sweet peas and you can check that out they're currently in the greenhouse and I'll show you in a bit how the sweet peas are doing so we can sow sweet peas and also November is a great time for doing your bare root fruits so like apples pears 
cherries is an ideal time when they're dormant to get them in the ground. So I've got my small trays and I'm going to get on and I'm going to place, plant some of these spinach and lettuces. So let me know in the comments what are you sowing in November. Leave me a message and it'd be great to see what everybody else is growing. And if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe, ring that bell, get notifications when I post some more. So, thank you very much. Cheers.